I'm Conchetta Antico, and I can see colours that nobody else can. Like any artist, Conchetta has an eye for colour. But while most of us see the world in a palette of a million colours, Conchetta can see up to 100 million. I really enjoy painting. My eyes were always drawn to light and things of beauty, uh, things that were brightly coloured, and I felt this passion to paint those images or those colours that I was seeing from a very early age. It affects me from the moment I wake up. The light that's coming in is affecting my mood. I walk down the street, and I'm not just walking down the street, I'm looking at the colour of the little stones in the, in the concrete in the sidewalk. Life with an almost superhuman ability to see colour can be pretty intense. Shopping for me is difficult. It's too much. Can we go back to the old days where there was just one bottle of, you know, tomato sauce and one can of beans? As an artist and art teacher, Conchetta spent years describing colours to her students that they simply couldn't see. She had no idea why she was seeing colour differently, until by chance she heard of a rare condition called tetrachromacy that affects the eyes. It's the structure of our eyes that allows us to see colour. If I dissect into it here, you could see just how complex it is. At the front, we've got the iris and the pupil, the lens at the back, and just here is the retina where the image is formed. On the retina are special cells called colour receptors or cones. These cones are triggered by different wavelengths of light and they fire off signals to our brain, which combines them to produce all the colours we can see. Most of us are trichromats, meaning that we have three types of cone. But research suggests that some people are tetrachromats. They have an extra fourth type of cone, and this could allow them to see millions more colours.